Hello, fans, and welcome back to another Ice Lions game. I'm your lead commentator, Stephen Pepper, and I'm with... I'm Katie Knoll. And today we are getting a little up close and personal with some of the teammates, team members here. Uh, we're going to interview them, get to know them a little bit better and how they're feeling about these next two games. I'm Katie Knoll here with Zach Good. So what position are you playing right now? I'm a defenseman. And how long have you been on the team? I'm a freshman right now. So first year? Yes, first year. Okay, you guys are coming off of some losses in a row. How are you guys planning on bouncing back from them? I think we're trying to build our team chemistry right now. On Monday, we had a practice where it was two teams doing battle drills. That really got the guys moving again. So hopefully this weekend we can bring it and give uh, Drexel and Ryder a run for their money. What are you guys changing about your plays, your strategy to try to win? We're trying to be quicker with our plays, especially here. In this drill, you can see the D moving their puck with one-touch passes. Um, just overall trying to be quicker. All right, so I'm here with Dayton Collins, uh, part of the ACHA hockey team for PSU. So we just want to kind of get to know you a little bit better. So what's your journey been like through hockey? How long have you played and how'd you get started? Uh, I've been playing for like 15-ish years. Uh, I grew up in Florida, so uh, I played down there. Um, just a couple organizations. You know. Always played up north and uh, I guess I just found my way here, so. Nice, nice. Pretty uh, long distance to come all the yeah, way up here, yeah. So uh, during Christmas break, uh, you guys had some relaxation time, then you came back and you had your first two games away against Liberty, and it was both a loss. So what do you guys um, think were uh, could have, you could have done better during that game? I don't know. I think we just kind of, uh, you know, like you said, it was after a break, so it's kind of tough uh, getting right back into it. And uh, Liberty's, like, they got a great program, so uh, it's definitely a... Um, Definitely kind of tough going in and losing, but uh, you know, there's a lot of positives. We, uh, we're right there with them, so I think uh, you know, we'll get them next time we play them. Nice. And you got two games coming up this weekend. Friday, you got Drexel, and Saturday, you got Ryder. So um, these are two teams you have not faced yet this season. So how are you feeling going into those? I'm excited. I mean, we can't take anyone lightly, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll be able to get back in our, uh, our win column. So, uh, yeah. Dayton, thank you very much for yeah, coming out. Uh, best luck for the games coming up. Thanks, guys. So we have Henry Silo here answering a few questions for us about this weekend. So after the two losses from Liberty, how are you feeling about uh, moving on to these next two games? Well, it sucked to lose, but uh, we need to get a reset and just look on to the next game and uh, try to play better and play as a team and play hard and have a drive to win. Have a drive to win, nice. Um, I forgot to mention. Uh, so we just want to get to know you a little bit better, our fans at home. So uh, what's your journey been like through at hockey? Um, how long have you played and how, what got you to start? Yeah, so uh, I'm originally Finnish and uh, I've moved around, around a lot. So I've, I've lived in London and Paris where I played hockey, which was a little different because the hockey level there wasn't as great. But uh, I played with older kids and uh, I mean, then I ended up here as a... I'm about, me and Chu and Ryan Chu are about the only foreigners here, so I'm representing here. That's awesome, that's awesome. So after the last two games, uh, you suffered two losses. That kind of made the record that you guys had a little bit tighter. Um, so is the pressure a little bit more on for you guys compared to your last few games, and how are you guys handling it? Well, we know we have a great team, and uh, we know what we can do. It's just we need to get our things together and play as a team, and if we do that, I feel like we can beat anyone. All right, thank you, Henry, for your time, yeah, and uh, you. best luck for the next games. I'm Katie Knoll here with Josh Ferry. So how long have you been playing hockey? Uh, since I was in third grade. How are you guys preparing for two different teams back to back in one week? Uh, honestly, in practice right now, we're working on special teams a lot. We had a big battle day yesterday. Uh, we really just got to come out and play a structured game and we'll be fine. Doesn't matter who we play. What are you guys changing after coming off of two losses back to back? Uh, again, I think the problem was the, uh, the structure for sure. Uh, the team we played, I don't think, was more skilled than we were, but they definitely played a more organized game, and we lost because of that, I think. How do you guys feel coming back to your home ice after a while being at away games? Uh, it's nice. It's great to play at home. Uh, it's a lot more familiar, and we've done pretty well here so far. Okay. Thank you for your time. Yeah, no <laughs> Thanks. So what's your journey been like with hockey? When have you started, and how long have you played? Um, I started playing at six years old, um, house league, basically. Then I started playing travel around seven years old. Played travel up until I was 16. Then I went to boarding school for two years and then came to Penn State. All right, nice, nice. So uh, to, the, to break the elf in the room, it's been Christmas break. Uh, you had your first two games away at Liberty and you unfortunately lost both. So how are you feeling after that? Um, I think it's definitely tough for us to get our legs back. You know, we came back on Sunday 
only had a couple of practices to get ready. Liberty had played the weekend before. Um, I think we just need to keep uh, keep coming to the rank and showing up, and I think we'll get the results we need. All right, yeah. So um, leaving that as it is, you got two home games coming up this week. You play Drexel in two days on Friday, and then you also play Ryder the next day. So uh, what's going through your mind? What's the team doing to prepare for that uh, for that challenge up ahead? Um, I think we've been trying to raise the compete level in our practices. Um, Monday's practice was all battle drills. Uh, everyone's been getting in the gym. Um, and we know we can handle Jackson and Ryder, so we've just been playing our usual game and prepping as we usually do. All right, and after those two losses, you kind of, uh, the record got a little bit tighter than last time. So um, is the pressure like hitting you guys now or how are you feeling going to these because of that? How are you um, handling it? There's definitely more pressure. It's a must win uh, situation right now, at least to get into regionals. Um, like I said, I think we have the confidence that we can handle these two teams and we just need to bring our A game. All right, thanks, Nate. We uh, wish you the best of luck this Friday and Saturday. Thank you. Yep. I'm Michael Smedley here with the team captain for the Penn State Ice Lions, Ryan Long. Ryan, how long, first of all, how long have you been playing hockey? How long have you been with the Ice Lions? This is my, uh, this is my 16th season playing competitive hockey. And then I guess this would technically be my third season uh, with the Ice Lions team, minus the, the year for COVID last year. Yeah, for sure, for sure. What is what is the best part about, and you know, it's been about a month since you guys have played here at Pagula. What is the best part about this weekend, getting back on your own ice and your own turf? I mean, I think like the reason that all the guys on the team are doing this, it's, it's to continue doing something that they've done for, for their whole life and, and have fun doing it. Um, it's always a little bit more fun when you get to get out on your home ice, uh, sleep in your own bed. And obviously we're looking to get back in the wing column after a rough weekend last weekend. So... I know all the guys are kind of eager to get out there. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of last weekend, so this weekend you're preparing for two different teams, back-to-back -back days with nothing, no time in between. What did the practice schedule look like to get ready for two different opponents back-to-back? -back? Um, so it was kind of the idea on Monday. I think we, we were lacking kind of our potential last weekend. So did a lot of compete drills, a lot of game-like situations, just try to get the tempo back up. And then, you know, as you guys can see tonight, we're doing a lot of special team system work. Um, just to kind of get that rolling uh, heading into Friday night. Awesome. As team captain, last question for you. What is what is different about the way that you're preparing for this weekend versus the rest of the team? Is there is there any sort of difference in the way that you're helping to get the guys' mentality back up? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the biggest thing is, like, you know, I can talk as, as much as I want to, but, you know, if I'm, if I'm not leading by example and not contributing, you know, in our games, um, you know, I think that looks bad on our team. So I, I know that, you know, individually, I, I need to step up. And, and with, in doing so, I, I, you know, I hope to set an example for the rest of the guys. And, you know, I just I want everybody to play as a, as a team this weekend because I think I think guys have been a little bit too individual lately, including myself. Um, so when we get back to that team mentality, I think I think we'll start getting in the wing column again. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Ryan. Absolutely. Thanks, Michael.